Yeah, g'day Keeners. Welcome to another Workshop Wednesday. The last few weeks we've been focusing on releasable or contingency anchors. So some, some form of anchor system that you can release and lower your abseil down for whatever reason. Um, pretend this is my wrap ring. I've got a figure eight block on it. So we've gone through this over the last couple of weeks. Hopefully you've got something out of this. There's been a lot of talk offline, so hopefully people are learning and, and finding new ways to do stuff. Um, but I was talking to Maddie and she said, we really need to shoot a video of what happens when you stuff up and you realise you haven't got enough rope. So my abseil is still 20 feet off the ground. I haven't got that much rope left. How do I add more rope into the system? I said, yeah, that'd be great. Look, we, we definitely need to shoot that video. And then I said, uh, how do we do that? Um, so anyway, Maddie's given me some tips, um, taught me a few things, and hopefully I'll be able to pass that on to you lot. So for whatever reason, my app sales online. I haven't read the uh, track notes properly. Uh, there is no track notes. Uh, we couldn't see the bottom. We assumed it was a lot shorter than it was. The app sale has gone down, gone over a lift pit down and said, hey guys, we've got a lot of uh, air defus. We need more rope. We haven't got it. I need to set up some sort of system where I can join this rope on, but still get the knot through the, through the other side. It turns out it's pretty simple. What I need to do is, First of all, capture the abseil line so I can release the block. To do that, I'm going to use a VT Prusik. I'm going to clip it up into my anchor with another quick draw. So, because I'm going to be trying to stop the rope going down rather than helping the, the climber go up, I've got to tie my VT Prusik upside down. So I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm still a little bit new to VT, so Give me a while to get this right. And speaking of about giving me a while, I'm going to assume that we're not in high water. So if, if I was in high water and there's a danger of my abseil of drowning, I'm going to take a few, a, a few more drastic options rather than this one because it does take a bit of time. This one's definitely safer, but there's options out there that are quicker. Uh, so my abseil is not going to drown. I just need to get him onto the ground a bit quicker. I'll set up my VT, it's a bit ugly, but it should work. That'll work. Now the next thing I need to do is release my eight so that my VT crossing is going to take that weight. Bring that one, put it up there. And I'll put my eight in descent mode and just let it descend until the VT takes the weight. Okay, so now the VT plus it's got the weight of that row. It's not going to go anywhere. So I need to get rid of my eight block and I need to get my second rope. I need to feed the end of my second rope through my anchor. Then I'm going to join the knot, the ropes, as normal with an overhand. I'm going to try and get it as close as I can to that anchor. So just a normal overhand knot. Now because my ropes are two different sizes, I'm going to make sure that the smaller rope's on the bottom so it can't roll over the, the big rope. Like that, nice and close. Then. I'm going to put my 8 block back on the second rope. And again, I'm going to try and keep as tight as I can up to that knot. And I'm going to lock it off. That's locked. I'm going to draw back in just to the safety. Okay, so now I've got the knot, the rope's joined, it's cinched nice and tight, got plenty of long tails. I need to take that slack out. To do that, just gently push the VT up the rope and allow that to come down. And now my eight's got the, the weight again, I can get rid of the VT. Take it all the way off. And now, 
I'm in a position where my ropes are joined, the knot's on the other side of the anchor. I can recommence lowering as per normal. And get my abseiler safely to the ground. Pretty simple stuff. Hopefully you got something out of that and stay safe out there and hope to catch you out there somewhere.